Hello, hello, my cap everyone. My name is Grant. I'm glad to have you here. Welcome and welcome to in. Hope you guys have an absolutely lovely day today. We are back in Master Duel as we're doing the XYZ Festival. Uh, we're doing the XYZ Festival today instead of doing DZZ because we already got Ellen. That was my whole point of playing DZZ is if we did not get Ellen, we were going to try our best to play till we got her, but we got her so we don't have to play it as much. Um, we're only doing the XE. We're doing Master Duel because we got a duel in the XE's Cup 50 times. I just gotta win a couple times as well as I like, get our maximum amount of levels. So we're gonna try our best. We have nine days left to do most of these events. So we're gonna try because you know free gems, free gems. Let's go ahead and jump on in. We also have enough for a ten pool, so let's go ahead and get that ten pool out of the way. So eternal partners again. We still want. Uh, we still need Typhon. If I'm not mistaken. So your cards. Yeah, we still need a Typhon. Uh, we need two more phantoms, and we don't care about it, but the we're not doing Satyrion anymore. I changed my mind on Satyrion. It's just not that great. Um, it's very okay. It's middling at best. It's just not worth it trying to uh pull for it when it's not that great. So, with that in mind, um, uh, we still need another two Nightmare Thrones to get our Ubel deck on a uh, lockdown. So let's go ahead and do this. And what do we got? Uh, one Pride Pack. Let's go ahead and just skip. We got another Phantom of Bell, and we got the Centurion Primera. So we have one more Phantom of Bell to get. So we can go ahead and go check that out. If we can get the if we can get the U Bell stuff ready to go, that would be fantastic. Yeah, we need one more U Bell. So where's that Centurion? Was that a Royal? That's a Royal Magic Specter Kieran. That's insane. Do I even need this? Not really. It's funny, but like I don't need it. Uh, I don't need another Shino Baron either. I don't need the Magic Specter or this. Not Magic Specter is just like such a weird archetype that I don't think is like necessary. I don't think anyone's really playing it. There's another UR here. Where'd that Centurion go? There you are. And then dismantle the Trudea. Okay, so now we're just missing the Nightmare Thrones. Um, I think we just hold off and crafting anything until we definitely can get it. So let's go ahead and jump into the XC's event. Like I said, we're going to be doing Exodia. Because Exodia was, it was, yeah, it's Floodgate. It's Floodgate whatever. But I'm still having a good, I'm having more of a fun time playing Floodgate Exodia than like actually trying to play the stupid event. Is that bad? Play the stupid event, they just max see me and I just lose. I can't do anything. Wouldn't it be crazy to like draw like three or four pieces right off the bat? I think that would be a little a little silly. What do we got? That's pretty fucking good. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so let's go ahead and go Dark World Dealings. You're gonna Ash Blossom this. D shitter. Uh that's fine. Uh, we'll get rid of Fire Prison. Yeah, we'll get rid of Fire Prison. We get rid of Chief. Max C. Oh, well. And the Messenger of Peace. Then Rivalry. And in our turn. Have fun. We already have one piece. We have the one piece. Put three Dark World Dealings in this deck just so we could have more. Um. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Go for it, Chief. Evenly. Oh, this Evenly is about to go really fucking hard. And that's very unfortunate. Oh, no. Oh, Vadas. Uh, well, the barrier statue actually saves him from here, which kind of sucks. Oh, or that just happens. Yeah, just play a bunch of board breakers, why don't we? Just, we, we just play it out. It really sucks, but it... Hello? And Dimension Fissure. What the fuck? Okay, so I you can play Floodgate, but I can't play Floodgate. 
Hello, BCW. Welcome in, welcome in. Hope you have a good day so far. Yeah, let's just go battle phase. This probably is an evenly matched the back row. Um, but I mean, he's going to have a lot of options to just do with whatever he wants. Let's go ahead and just put this macro cosmos in the back row, too. The rivalry wouldn't have done us anything. It would not have helped us at all. I mean, I can flip this macro cosmos. It's not really going to do anything because, again, all of the exorcists are light type anyway. So he just gets to play for free. Now, if I had... No, he wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, it's all light. So, I mean, I pretty much just lose here. We're going to stick it out because we need to duel 50 fucking times. I really hate. Hey, okay, target one card. I control. Banish it. I don't know why you're banishing this. I, there's no reason to do that. Yeah, you do realize that your shit still gets, like, banished, banished. Returnia, so they're gonna hit for 25. I mean, swords might save us a couple turns, but that's really it. And then Vadis, not Va uh, yeah, Returnia can just stop me from doing anything. That might be what happens, sadly. That's your piece. That might save us a little bit. In turn. So, I mean, he'd have to... No, it's only on activation. But it might be on activation of my best year piece standby payment. But that might what be happening. Okay. A8. Attack with the two little girls. Fine. This Vodis also gets banished. Like, all this stuff gets banished. Okay, Irina Sophia. Sophia's going to draw one. Sophia's going to put a card back. Alright. Lose another Martha. That is good for me. It's like, he's losing materials. But he can easily go into an X here if he wants to. But he can't attack either. We have to do a 100 payment. Every turn. But it's only 100 payment, which is kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. If it was, like, less, or if it was more, then I'd see it be fine. Oh, you can attack with Gabreen. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I lose here, because that's 28-28. That's that's enough to kill me. It's fine. Uh, wait, does that kill? Twenty-eight. Yep, just barely kills. Now I just I just very shittily drew and then happened to go against Exo Sisters, where it's like light monsters. It's like cool. That's fine. Um. It's really like they, they're like wind barrier statue was like the biggest one that was pretty much easiest um because it was there's not a lot of wind monsters and that's why i got banned because the flu was abusing the fuck out of it but then at the same time like the dark one doesn't really help me light one is like kind of rare to go against i'm going first let's go i set up floodgates and i set up any negate you know, we're just going to stick here. We're just going to keep doing this until we get at least 50. Fuck. I mean, this isn't horrible. It is it is some floodgates. Okay, let me read this. All dragon monsters in the field gain 300 defense. If any link monsters in the field are on, if any link monsters are on the field, neither player can link summon a link monster with the lower link rating and the highest link rating of monsters. Monsters cannot attack except link monsters. Okay, so this is just a link thing. So only Link monsters can attack. So we're good. So 
that'll help us a lot. So what's going to happen is that he's going to summon this rivalry wall. Actually, no, we're fine. We, we have Floodgate set up now. We have Rivalry set up and we have Fire we have fire Prison. Like, we should be pretty solid. Earth Charmer. Uh, okay... All right, we were playing insects there. What the fuck? That was new. I was not expecting insects, but I'll take it. Don't you just love when the events come out and people just decide, you know what? I'm gonna play Floodgates instead. That's me. I'm that person. I would rather play Floodgates than actually do this fucking event. Because, like, the event isn't bad, it's just super annoying. Max C, best your piece, Dark World Dealings, Macro, and Gozen. This isn't horrible. I need to see what he does first. Delay no more. Oh. Okay. That's very interesting. Uh, Bear Statue does help. We can go Dark World Dealings here. Maxi, oh my god. I'm not playing Maxi. It's fine, buddy. That's a Maxi. Well, at least I can keep my Maxi. And we keep it. Jesus, alright. So we're gonna go Barrier Statue. Is this Solemn? No. That's your piece. Set macro. Set goes in. Ass. Turn on, go max C in the draw phase. Then we go macro cosmos. All right, let's see you try to play. In phase. Okay. Another macro. We don't need it. I could set it just to be a little shit, but I'm going to save it. Just in case, um... Just in case there's a, uh, Harpies. That way I can reactivate it. I don't want to lose both of them at the same time. But he could have Fenrir. Fenrir is the only way he can special summon. 1400! Man, that just goes over just enough. That's so annoying. Because you're playing Crystal Beast, which is, uh, okay, interesting. One day apiece, that'll help. Okay, the fee. One day apiece, so we don't take any damage. I mean, if he Ash Blossoms, this kind of sucks. Fire Prison, even better. Only Link Monsters can attack. Okay. So technically, I could get rid of this Messenger of Peace now. I have Fire Prison. But... That might be actually what we do. He's reading. He's like, why the fuck can I not attack? Oh, Gene Raider. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna go Gozen. Um, yeah, that's fine. So because I drew, I'm gonna go Gozen here. He's got something. Okay, well, uh, I hope you have another win Gene Raider card. If you don't, damn. But I'll pay this fee. It's only 100. Now let's go Solemn Warning. And in their turn. This is so satisfying. I have no Exodia pieces yet, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. 
battle phase again? Man, we're not learning, are we? We're just not having a good time. Synchro zone, even better. All right, so this is where we hold on to the synchro zone, just in case. Again, like Harpy Spider just comes out, we get screwed. We just hold on to our cards. Um, this is where dark bribe, like having the extra dark bribes, isn't bad. It really, really helps. But um, yeah, no, he's gonna have to start putting stuff on the board, or else he's gonna have to start getting rid of shit from his hand. Rivalry? Oh my god, we're getting all of the floodgates now. Alright, activate Master Peace again. Pay the price. I'm not doing anything. I was going to sit here. We're going to get the Exodia win. We have 27 cards left. That's 27 turns that we can play. Start setting cards, buddy. Because I'm not attacking at all. In phase. Well, time to get rid of a card. What you got? What are we banishing? Ah, Kevin Chef. Oh, no. You're playing Horus cards? Man, aren't you stinky? Uh, we're just gonna hold on to this barrier statue. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna summon this. Just, just for shits and giggles. And then in our turn. Now, granted, he could go imperm, but like, why are you imperming this column? It would have been in the Gozen column, but it is what it is. Cause he can't go, he can't imperm the fire prism. It's kind of funny. Battle phase. Damn! Look at you. We're learning. Delay no more. Well, I'm gonna be delaying a lot. Oh, we're getting ready to happy as well. Ooh, ooh, got the left arm or right arm. Let's go. All right. I'm still paying this fee. Just because it's better to pay the fee than um, to lose it. Like, when we have a lot of cards, we should probably, like... Oh, because if he goes Harpies, it kind of sucks. Like, we're kind of bones if he goes Harpies. Not going to lie. Um, he would have to take to Barrier Statue and then go from there. I wouldn't be able to do a lot of shit. But it would still be okay. What's funny is that, like, this rivalry would also kill him. Utgarda, oh, well, very statue of the heavens. All right, pay the fee. I don't think they even would play harpies in this deck. Um, I'm going to set this in case you manage to kill my shit. That's the only reason why we're setting it. Maybe the solemn warning isn't a good idea. Because maybe, like, more draw cards would be better, honestly. But I don't know any other draw cards that we could have. That's the problem. A to B. Honestly, yeah, Messenger of Peace should not cost 100 life points. I feel like it should cost a lot more. Like, at least a 500 or a 1,000. Because that's such a huge floodgate. But yeah, I like how Fire Prison's, like, last sentence is... By the way, monsters cannot attack except Link monsters. Like, no one else is playing this card, and it just has that weird-ass, like, extra effect. Ah, Maxi, goddammit. Um, this Maxi does nothing. Honestly, just set everything in case shit happens. Because there's no reason to, like, hold on to stuff. Another Dark World Dealing wouldn't be bad. Dark World Dealing, Pot of Extrav... Um, he could go Imperm on my Barrier Statue if that's an Imperm column right there, which would be very unfortunate. But it is what it is. I can survive 20 turns. Skill Drain, let's go! Because this would be 69 more turns. And we can hold off for that long. Is this, is this mean? Is this disgusting? Yeah, it's disgusting. Do I care? No, because I hate this event. XC summoning is not my favorite. Um, but it is what it is. Like, I like the attribute stuff. That stuff's fine. Can I go Swords of Revealing Light that flips everything? That would be so fucking funny. Wait a minute. I'm actually going to do that. It's going to be so funny. 
Time to flip. Does it flip? It does flip. That's so funny. That's so funny and troll. Holy shit. Why don't we go? Oh, we can't even go Valor because you have sent it to Graveyard. No Lopter for you. There's where it's going to be a problem. I need to start getting rid of cards. Um. Yeah, it's going to be a bitch to deal with, honestly. I'm going to have to probably get rid of Messenger of Peace. Um, because the other floodgates are more important. I'll get rid of the other macrocosmos. Alright. It's B. And get rid of the macro. If I draw another messenger piece, we won't pay the fee, then activate the new one. Yeah, it's probably better. I like how I'm getting rid of every part. Oh, there's the left leg. Um, I have to pay the fee, sadly. All right, and in turn, this is where we get rid of the other messenger piece. And now we're gonna start running into the problem of I'm gonna be running out of cards. Um, I need to get rid of the. Okay, well, Swords is gone. This might be an Imperm. Out of Extravagance. Thank God we got something good. Uh, pay the fee. Pay the fee. Extrav. Vanish 6. Probably Ash Blossom me. No Ash Blossom. Let's go. Uh, do not pay. So we're going to cancel. I have to keep a slot open. So we're going to enter turn. We're going to get rid of the other macro. And get rid of the skill drain. I don't need this anymore. We have fire prison on lockdown, so we're pretty good. The cards I've designated strictly Oh, actually I can't even do the Um Shit, I can't even go. Ugh. Kind of bad, actually. Solemn Strike. Yeah, we have a Solemn Strike at this point. Pay the fee. In turn, get rid of Solemn Strike. Right, 14 cards left. Have two more pieces to get. Still have the head. We need head. So yeah, this is where Tierman's Kashira, like, fucks me. Because Tierman's Kashira could just do a bunch of shit right here. That's your piece. We get rid of this one again. Uh, actually. Do not pay the fee. So that way I can activate the other one. That way I don't have to discard. I would pay a hundred this turn. Let's go. That's my that's my third one. Okay. I have another Dark World dealing I could potentially grab. Battle phase. Still same problem, dude. Fire prison. Fire prison stops you from doing anything. Please read. I beg you. Dark bribe. That can stop a bunch of shit. But I don't want to bother with it. All right, get rid of Dark Bribe. Like it's not, it's not worth giving him an extra draw, like at all. Um, I'm pretty, I'm sure this guy has like an Ash Blossom or something in his in his deck. Exodia. Oh, fuck. All right, we're getting to the problem where like I'm about to run out of cards. So we in turn. Rivalry is the better card to get rid of at this point. Actually, no, cross out. Get rid of cross out. If he has the Ash Blossom, want to go uh, Prosby, then so be it. We just need one more piece now. All right, we have eleven tries, eleven more turns. Barrier statue. I was here to the barrier statue. 
pay the fee. And in our turn, discard this. It'd be a real damn shame if I accidentally clicked Exodia. That would be so fucking annoying. All right, what are you discarding now? I just love how we're just getting rid of all his cards. He's just accepted it, but he has to, like, finish all the duel. Fuck. Um. You know what? I'm good without Messenger of Peace. Now we put the Solemn down. Because we don't, we don't need Messenger of Peace anymore. We have Fire Prison still. You, like, the, guarantee this guy still tries to attack. Garen fucking T. This is where we put the Solemn down, just in case there's like a Harpies or a Cosmic Cyclone. So we can just negate it and not have to worry about anything. Dark World Dealings. Alright, well I gotta pray that I get it here. Uh, we just get rid of Rivalry. Don't need that Floodgate anymore. Swords Revealing Light. Yay! Uh, get rid of Rivalry. And we just in return. If I don't draw draw Prosby, I can go Swords Revealing Light to get rid of more of his shit. They're gonna be the like the last piece, isn't it? It'll be the last card that I draw. Another Dark World Dealings. All right, Dark World Dealings. Like no Ash Blossom at all. Oh, all right, get rid of the other swords. Um, that's still six, so we're good. All right, I should get it here in a second because that's my last Dark World dealing. That's the third one. I have no more draw cards. I have no. I have a uh, Prosby. Can Prosby even work? I don't know if Prosby would even work in this situation. Alright, so we get rid of the Solemn. Alright, I have four cards left. So again, unless you have a way to just nil my last couple cards, I win. Like, I win in four turns. 50 turns later. Kill Drain! Oh, you're being stinky too! There's a Prosby. I have three cards exactly left. Alright, banish free. Don't make me wait this out, dude. One, two, three. Well, give me that last piece. Yay! Exodia! All bwit away! <laughs> ah, so satisfying. Like, they're probably like, what the fuck? Just drew out, like, every fucking card. Like, it's super annoying whenever it's just, like, the last couple cards in deck. But that's usually how it goes with Exodia, unfortunately. Going first. Oh, it's Lab. I guarantee this is Lab. Every time I see the Lab, uh, I see, I see, uh, Mommy here. For their profile picture, it's Lab. And it's super annoying to play against. Messenger piece, barrier statue, like we're we're golden here. So I just go barrier statue. And I go dark world. Ooh, not. Activate dark world dealings. Solemn? Get rid of Solemn Strike. We don't have any like huge floodgates, which kinda sucks. Oh, actually, they can't even tack. I'm good. Ib. Damn. Sure, peace, solemn judgment, and dark bribe. This gets rid of. So yeah, this would be dark bribe for. Um. Yeah, he gave it go like. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. I have to go this, which really fucking sucks. I don't have any other choice.
Purely? Uh... Yeah, just go this. You could draw one. I mean, the only thing he's summoning is purely or pure lily and then can't even attack. Another messenger of peace, which kind of sucks. Pay the fee. Barry session defense. Return. Actually, no, he can't even summon purely, purely or pure lily because they're dark and light. So he could get it. He can get cards, but he just can't do anything with them. That's fine. He has to, like, hard summon them. And then from... No, he can't even go in there, because the only thing that's uh, applicable is Plump. Which, Plump is pretty good. Don't get me wrong. Plump's pretty good. But other than Plump, he could attack, go to Zeus, downer Zeus, and go from there. That's fine, bud. Do whatever the fuck you want. I have to hope that, again, he does not get Plump. If he gets Plump, I'm kind of screwed. Okay. Yearly. I don't know what the speed roid is doing. The speed roid kind of scares me. Your leap. Day two, day two, we're playing Exodia. I'm having a great look at the He really did get the fucking plump. He really did get plump. Ain't no way. You got plump. Please absorb two more cards. Oh, he's gonna absorb two more cards. Oh, he's not. Okay, you are. I forgot plump is earth. Oh, it's 1400. No, it's enough. It's enough. I didn't draw my other floodgate. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, we just lose here. I was gonna just go ahead and surrender because playing gets purely is so long. Like it's longer than me. Underdog Zodi to draw version. It's a draw version. We're playing the draw version. What else would we play? I need more draw cards. That's what's happening, is that like I'm just kinda getting screwed here and I can't do much else. Um the floodgate cards are pretty nice. Uh but I need more draw power. Are there any other draw cards? I mean, if I just go to, you know, if I could pull up Mass Fuel Meta, I pull up Exodia. Like, Underdog? Explain to me what's Underdog. Maybe I'm misunderstanding what Underdog is. Jesus, this is, a, this is crazy. Alright, I mean, yeah, Moon Mirror Shield isn't bad either. Moon Mirror Shield saves a lot. Art of the Underdog? What the fuck? Art of the Underdog. What the fuck is that? The rare card. During your draw phase, when you draw a normal monster, you can reveal it, draw one. Holy shit, that's so funny. Wait. I like that. Oh. But I have to get rid of floodgates. That would be the problem. I have to get rid of a shit ton of floodgates. Because I, I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to use barrier statue, any of the barrier statues. And I'd be wholly reliant on normal monsters. And I'd be drawing a bunch of fodder. Alright, tell you what, let's do this. What heck's up normal four run Utopia Baguska? That's funny. Wait. That's actually like not a bad idea. Okay, hold up. You said hard of the underdog? Underdog. So we'll play three of those. Um, but then we need more floodgates. So give me get rid of this, this, this. There's some four pendulums. Okay. So we need rank four. We need a Baguska. At least one Baguska. So we need rank four. Level four, normal monsters. So, I mean, what's a funny normal monster? Flying fish. 
<laughs> Mystical Elf would be kind of funny, though. Not gonna lie. I'm just looking at all the normal monsters. Like, god, this is all cards from, like, way back in the day. They're all duty water. Ooh, Bean Soldier. We'll play four, We'll play Bean Soldier. What other funny cards do we have? Is this, the, is this a Joey version? It is a Joey version of Alligator Sword. Alright, I wish I could play one more. I mean, we can get rid of the Maxis. Another Alligator Sword. Um, The question is, do I play... Get rid of the cross out. We don't need the cross out. Um, That's three cards left. I don't want to screw up our Pendulum Zones. Uh, let's throw in... Draw those, you can pinch summon 3 to 5 on turn 1, go directly into Utopia Devil, do the thing in on Dragonair. Hold up, what? Utopia. Because now I'm... Utopia Double? Then Dragonair? Oh, I don't have Dragonair. Well, that doesn't help me. I did have Dragonair at one point, but no, I get it. Okay, well, we're going to take out the, dou the double then. Keep the Baguska. Go into level fours. Kaiser works. Do I have Kaiser? I mean, I have Utopia Geyser. Kaiser, does that count? Like show another number XC monster card cards to show up battle card effects. So it's just a it's just towers. So I go here and then go double. Okay, I have to type in Utopia double. Utopia double. We'll take out one of these and one of these. And now we just need the pendulums level four. The so pendulum level four normals. We had the magic specters. It's a two and a five. It's the two and the five, right? Be double or nothing. Oh, okay. Well, I need some good pendulum scales. That's what I need. That's a one. That's a five. I'm not paying a UR. Fuck that. I need mon. I need normal monsters. Pendulum normals. Can I do pendulum normals? It's gonna be funky, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna be. Okay, so I take out the level fours. So we need pendulum normal. That's gonna be a combination of both of them, which is even worse. Fuck, this makes it so much harder. Why is this here? The pendulum normals. Oh, it's a normal monster. Fuck. Okay, this is an eight. Which is pretty good. Isn't Metal Foes like majority pretty good? Like the Metal Foes are a lot of them are like normals, aren't they? That's a one and an eight. Perfect. Ignites and Metal Foes? Gotcha. So that's a one. That's an eight. Um, I think that's really all we need. Oh, we need double or nothing. That'll be our last card. Okay. Now, Heart of the Underdog. All right. Could be better. Alright, so Rin, you're gonna have to, like, guide me through this to see how this shit works. I like how when I go to look at the Exodia decks, um, people are playing this with Scareclaw, which is... What? Like, we're not doing Floodgates anymore, which is so funny. It's all Scareclaw, which ends on, like, Barone, 
And yeah, some floodgates. But it's oh, two pieces already? Hell yeah. Too bad we're going second. Ought to be. Alright, we've got to sit it out, sadly. Labby! Oh, well, shit. Ariana. Ariana draws. Orby. There's actually a rollback. I might actually lose. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna lose. I have no way to stop this. Well, that Metal Foes, Activate Iron Dog, Hope Opponents, Pop Before Turn 3. Yeah. So we set the Solemn, set the Synchro Zone, and just hope and beg, and nothing happens. We need to keep our Pendulum Zones open. Alright, please pop a card on the field. I would much prefer if you do clock. Hey, get rid of my Solemn. That's fine. Before he comes back. I mean, Secret Zone saves me, but that's about it. Oh no, that's going to activate again. I'm just dead. I'm just fucking dead. Yep, lovely activates, bounce back. Pop the other face down card. Okay, fine, you win, buddy. I'm go pee. Lab sucks. Look, listen, I just find it funny that, like, this event has been dominated by non XC's decks. Like, yeah, you know what? I played purely at the beginning, just for shits and giggles. Yes, you can activate this. It's fine. Dude, just, just end the game. This makes me more mad. It's that, like, people just don't decide to end the game. And it's like, why, why won't you end the game? You just want to make me suffer, I guess. I mean, I've seen this deck that has, like, a bunch of, like, God, it's so expensive. It's so many URs, it's not even worth it. And it plays, like, Vico Slayer. And again, I can't leave, because I gotta duel 50 times. That's a good thing. It's like, this deck's kind of, like, not a self-kill. But, I mean, if I can't do anything, I just can't do anything. Thank you for being efficient, dumbass. Literally, just kill me, please. All right. And I mean, we stay in, we get color, we get points. That's all that matters. Like, I would rather. Again, I don't like the level system. I like the the, the uh, point system, which isn't so much better in events like these, because then I don't have to worry about bullshit. I can get done a lot faster. Uh, well, the alligator sword didn't really do anything for us, but the secret zone and microcosmos will help us. That's one part already done. We got dark world dealings. Well, we get rid of that alligator sword. Which got chief? Oh, it's trap tricks. Gross. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go. Wait, why are you playing trap tricks? Uh, that trap tricks actually kind of fucks us. Not gonna lie. Actually, no. Wait, why? That's so weird. Microcosmos. 
And now we're good. Because you're not going Sarah. Utica. You can add Garden. We're getting the main phase. Synchro Zone. Yay, Floodgate. Yay, Floodgate. <laughs> Problem with Underdog, it's, it's dog-ass slow. I mean, yeah, I could see. And then, like, the Floodgates kind of do help us. We do need the Floodgates for sure. Um, If anything, I'll take a Messenger of Peace and put in more normal monsters for Heart of the Underdog. That's where I would see, like, the best option for us to do. Because... Messenger piece is good, but then they summon anything above a thousand, and then I can't do anything, or ab above a th uh, like between the one thousand one and fifteen hundred range. And then I'm screwed. I can't do anything about it. Well, that doesn't really help. There's no floodgates in this hand. Sci-fi. Eshtira. I mean, this just goes full. This just goes full ham, which kind of sucks. Finrear. Just summon Finrear. Add. So again, worst case scenario, when he gets Rise Heart, he banishes my cards uh, immediately, which is a really fucking big problem. Air Claw. Okay. Okay, so again, we watch here. If he banishes any of my Exodia pieces, we're screwed. We just we just give up. And the answer is Okay, none of our Exodia pieces are gone. That's all that matters. None of them are gone. We did lose uh two draw power cards, but that's still fine. Angry Era. Secret Zone! Let's go! Floodgate acquired. That's all that matters. Floodgate has been acquired. Um, we don't even really need the swords, honestly. So yeah, now we go Heart of the Underdog. That's Synchro Zone. Uh, and yeah, in return. Turn on. Activate Seeker Zone first, so that way they can't do anything. And we just hopefully go from there. Okay. Have fun. Oh. Shit. I forgot that Shangri Ears effect activates technically. So, like, I just lose out on it. God damn it. Alright, kill me, dude. Completely forgot about that shit. Completely forgot about it. When is this effect ever resolving? Huh? I've never seen this effect actually resolve. Is that enough to kill me? 8700. That's enough to kill me. Thank God. Uh, that sucks. That really does suck. Did this activate again? Is this not a once per turn? Okay, you can only use this effect pressure once per turn. Yeah, there really wasn't much I could do about this, which kind of sucks. I don't have any other uh, draw power cards. Like, if I had Upstart, I would play Upstart. If I had... um. There's just a lot of other extra cards I can play. But they are all like URs, which is super unfortunate. Like a lot of draw power cards for some reason are just UR. I don't understand why it's so expensive. I get it, draw power is important. It's super good, but it's still like annoying. All right, well, 
Fire Prison's pretty good. Heart of the Underdog's pretty good. But drawing two of these already, am I really gonna get labbed again? I'm getting fucking labbed again. That's so annoying. Yeah, drawing double or nothing kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Still drain. Oh, it's gonna be non-target pop, which really sucks. I mean, I could summon these other cards just for shits and giggles. But yeah, getting a double or nothing kind of sucks. Yep, there's the Labby. Uh, gah. It's just Bloodgate. I mean, it's just it's just Lab Central. It's all this fucking event is. It's just Lab. Pops hard on the underdog. I mean, I'm just going to set Alligator Sword. Fuck it. Oh my god, he can activate this too. Oh. oh okay, welcome Labyrinth. That's fine. But it's going to be non-target pop with Labyrinth Labyrinth again. We're going to activate it once per turn, so I guess that's fine. Ariana. Ariana draws. Ariana gets the lovely... Or Lady, and then Lady gets a special summon. Get Ariane. Wait, why are we getting Ariane? Uh, whenever he tries to activate this effect, we go. Then, Skill Drain. Sadly... Big Welcome can activate this turn. Just super fucking annoying. And it spins that back. Not gonna lie, I'm actually having worse time with uh, Heart of the Underdog variant, Rin. Not gonna lie, having a worse time with this shit. But I'm not doing anything here at this point. I'm just giving up. Again, gotta sadly win. Or sadly gotta win, like, or not win, play so many matches. Level four into what? Baguska? Why are we going into Baguska? That negates all of your shit. What? Okay. Still no floodgates. I'll just uh, end my turn. Yeah, I don't understand why he went Baguska. Like, that part doesn't make any sense to me. But I don't want to play, I don't want to set down a skill drain because there's no reason to. I've given up at this point. Uh, do I, do I fill this deck up with more normals? Filling it up with more normals seems kind of wrong. But I feel like I need more draw power. But I don't know what else to, like, help draw. Moon Mirror Shield's not bad. Moon Mirror Shield does help a lot. But I would get rid of the Solemns for Moon Mirror. For fire prison? Two fire prisons wouldn't be bad either. That might be best here. Also drawing the one of double or nothing really fucking sucks. Don't know how it managed to do that, but it is what it is.
uh, going second to the point to where I'm going to get floodgated to where I can't do anything, which is super fun. I mean, I could play like a bunch of board breakers like Lava Golem and Kaijus if I really wanted to. Playing the board breakers doesn't help the deck out either. I could stop drawing my normal monsters. That would be fantastic. It'd be lab again. I swear to God, if it's lab again. Well, heart of the underdog pops up once again. Heart of the underdog. Fire prison. Acro. At least one turn. I mean, I could have summoned this bean soldier, but I didn't want to bother with it. In phase. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna Cosmos just to go ahead and start doing this shit. There's a reason to activate lose one turn right now. Towards revealing light does nothing. Don't activate that. All right, so I need to draw. I have five. Well, I forgot the exotic pieces count as a normal monster. That's funny. Wait a minute. I didn't think about that. I feel like this is just a bunch of floodgates as well. Oh, party underdog. Right leg is a normal monster. Get the draw. Messenger your piece. We don't need messenger your piece right now. Hold on to it. We hold on to it strictly because there's no reason to um, play it when they have no monsters on board. Because fire prison will help us as well. Now again, harpy's feather dusker fucks us. Completely ruins our day. That is the one downside. Lightning Storm also sucks. Oh, can I play both of these? Hey, yo, wait. Can I play both Hearted Underdogs? I feel like they're separate effects. I feel like this is a separate effect. So I should definitely be able to draw two. Holy shit, that's so funny. I could draw more than once. Okay, so now I just need to draw all my normal monsters now. All right, please, no more monster right now. Yes, let's go. That's a normal. Heart Iron Dog 1. Heart Iron Dog Chain Link 2. That's so funny. That's so stupid. Field Drain. Heart Iron Dog 3. Let's go. Alright, so problem is, is that I am out of back row. So if I get extra or anything, I'm kind of screwed. Um, I think that's where I just summoned Bean Soldier now. Dude, Solemn Judgment this, please. Draw two if you draw normal on one, it still procs both. Yeah, we're gonna get draw three now. Oh. Why? Uh, sure, you can have the beam soldier. Have at it, my dude. Okay, tribute. Ah, vanities! Fun, 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 fun. Or majesties. Oh, you're gonna try to attack? Damn, you know what? Fire prison. Evenly matched. Oh, that kind of blows. Um... We don't need to lose one turn. I can set the other macro. I need to draw power. The draw power is way more important. Um, set the macro. That's really about it. I don't need the skill drain. Skill drain doesn't help me because this guy's playing floodgates too. And we're not activating monster effects, we're activating card, uh, spell effects. Now, I know there's like other majesty cards that do the same thing. Goes in, that does nothing. Oh, uh, so yeah, we set the macro. End our turn. Go from there. I like how I gave him the opportunity to summon Majesty's Fiend. Oh, shit. Uh, well, that is the one thing I said would fucking happen. Shit. 
That's really fucking bad. Uh, so we lose all of our draw power. Drew into it? Yeah, that was a problem. Like, they hard drew into that. Um, so I have to go swords here. Solemn Judgment, that's fine. We have Messenger of Peace to play with it. That's 56 turns of Messenger of Peace. So either you have another Solemn Judgment on board, which if you do, I'm fucked. And I'll just take my loss as Floodgate. Macro... Good doesn't really help me here, so we just pass. But hard drawing into that Harpies. Like, Royal Harpies, too. Wait, is your Solemn also? Okay, it's not. Ugh, uh, I'm gonna get hit for a thousand apiece. I still have two more Fire Prisons. Moon Mirror Shield. Uh, I don't really care. I mean, I could put Bean face down if I really want to. A lot of extra ab. That's helpful. Head V. Extra ab. Hello, Takasaski. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Hope you guys had an absolutely lovely day today. How you doing? Welcome in. Because I can't draw anymore. I could set the Gozen. I won't set the Gozen, so that way he can't do anything here. We're going to turn on. We're going to go Macro Cosmos first. And then go goes in after the uh, resolution goes out. Resolution of Macro. Go goes in. He's probably going to keep the barrier statue if I had to guess. Yep. Keep the barrier statue. Again, we pay the fee. We pay the 500. Or we pay to we pay to one hundred. Fire prison. There we go. That's what I wanted. Um, granted, we did lose our um pendulum scale, but that is fine. Fire prison again. If there's a solemn back here, we're fucked. But no, there is nothing here. There's the head. Uh, we don't need skill drain. Skill drain's useless now. E shitter. Well, ain't that funny. Um. Yeah, we just end our turn here. So, he doesn't play any, like, Cosmic Cyclone's the only other card that he could draw in to help him at this point. That's really it. We should be fine. Terra Morganite. That's fine. I already have three pieces, bud. Well. Stream Elements? What do you mean? I'm sorry that I have Stream Elements, Taco. Listen, I also use, like, a bunch of others. Like, I've been meaning to, like, fix more of them. I haven't really, like, done much with it. But how you doing? Welcome in, welcome in. I see you have... Oh, excuse me. The Fenrir uh, profile image. So, uh, I'm assuming either you like Fenrir... I beat the Floodgate. The Floodgate beats the Floodgate. Let's fucking go. So do you like Fenrir or do you hate Fenrir? Listen, once we get um dual 50 times. Once we get dual 50 times, I will stop playing Exodia. Okay? That is the only reason why we're playing this. Doesn't PFP to scare people. Listen, it is very scary. Ashtira Fenrir is very scary. Okay, what do we got? Ooh! Ooh! Okay, so I don't have Solemn here. But we already drew, like, pretty, pretty fucking good. Got Fire Prison. Go Rivalry. And set, lose one turn. Okay, so again, I lose to Lightning Storm and Harpies. That's literally the only way we lose this match. And the answer is, I'm SETI. Well, this is where we go lose one turn. Alright, have fun. 
King Sark. I mean, you know what's funny? Is that I'm going to let him do all this stuff, right? I'm going to let him just send everything to the grave. And then we're going to go uh, rivalry. Okay, Ogre. Go to defense, please. I'm Seti. Go to defense, please. We're going to wait. We're just going to wait until he brings out Happy. And then we'll go rivalry. Now we go rivalry. Alright, uh, can you send those back, please? The Psychic, Beast Warrior, and Spellcaster. Dark, Wind, and Water. So, um, they're all very different. So, get out of go, go away, please. I don't want you here. Spellcaster? We're pulling with only I'm steady? Okay, that's fine. Okay, Kevin Chef. Send Dwemetef. You can't bring these out. I hope you realize that. Best your piece. I don't need this right now. Again, we hold on to this strictly because the potential for harpies. That's literally the only reason why we hold on to best your piece. Or any other floodgate at this point. Because we already have two floodgates on board. Or three floodgates on board. Want a duel? Uh, I would I would love to, Taco. But right now, we are just doing um, the XC's Festival. I am not going to have a lot of time next week to finish it up. But I'd like to go ahead and just get it done uh, 100% so I don't have to worry about it. Because if I'm not playing Master Duel, I'm playing ZDZ. So I don't have a lot of time otherwise. Dude, okay, sure. You get the other I'm Seti. But then what? You're going to go into X seat? Yeah, no. We're going to try to attack. Fire Prison. Read. Okay, probably an imperm for that. Listen, I'm sorry, Taco. I'm I, I'm trying, okay? I want to play the XC Festival right now. Ay, ay, ay. Party on our dog. All right, that's number two. Uh, so we're going to fuck up any of our pendulum scales right now, but that's fine. Okay, I rage. Well, since we're not going to be playing for a while, Taco, what is your favorite deck? What do you like playing? I'm assuming with the Fenrir, you also play Cash, right? Do you play Cash? I'm going to assume you do. Listen, also, I normally don't... Blue? Listen. Listen, Taco, that's fine. I'm a fellow bird enjoyer. I have plenty of IRL birds, and I love birds. Oh, I get to draw two now. Blue's good. Blue's really good. Um, What kind of flu do you play? I, I know there's like a the um the hand loop variant of flu, which is uh with Raska, which is so silly. If you can get Raska to work, it's so funny. Okay, draw one. I'd be pure. Well, okay, pure's not bad. Pure's not bad. All right, so we just uh, end our turn again. Yeah, we don't do anything here. So you be pure. So like the the typical impin, uh, avian. Uh, and Ryza, right? The only thing that sucks about Blue is that if there is something above 3,000, you, ju you just cannot do anything. And it really sucks. Blue Grand Maju? Oh, no. Well, hard drawing a double or nothing this is not good for me. Was shit like Ultimate Slayer? Oh, Ultimate Slayer. That's such a good card. I, I had three copies of Ultimate Slayer, but I dismantled them because I had no, like, good time to ever use them in any deck in, in the format when it first came out. That's fine, buddy. You can activate that card. Um, That was the annoying part. It's just I had no opportunity to do it. All right. What are we adding? Horus. Oh, wait. This might be bad. Uh... That's fine. Then we'll card on the field to the graveyard. Oh no! Uh. 
this is kind of bad. This is where Messenger of Peace would have been very helpful. I might die here. I'm dead here. Fuck, I'm dead here. No way. Oh, well. That's what I get for playing Floodgates. Who is playing Horus? Man. Not me thinking I was safe. Not me thinking I was safe. That's what I get. I was I was too confident. I should have just I should have just put the uh, messenger piece down and started paying the fee, because then I, I still have like options to survive. Only had Slayer proc once. Yeah, same. Like Slayer's just so hard to proc. At one point, my name was in Japanese to scare streamers. They didn't want to duel me for any of my cash PFP. Yeah, no, that would scare a lot of people. Like I don't I don't typically duel against uh, viewers just because I don't like I'm trying to do an event or something. Oh, this is. This is very eh. It'd be lab again. Every time I go against lab, I'm second. That one. Oh. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we go dark world dealings here. Swords? Here are the swords. We already have one. XC's Encore. The fuck is that? Or it's eight axis. Yeah, it was just like, why why are you playing this? It was so weird. I like we're just swords. We don't need it right now. We have Mac. Oh, actually, swords would have helped us. Uh I don't know why I set Prosby. There was no reason to set Prosby. I have I might have been fucked up. Alright. So I have to do this. Go Macrocosmos first. I don't know why I set this Prosby. This Prosby might fuck me. Okay, so all of the King Stark stuff requires him to send shit to the graveyard. Right? Am I mistaken in that? Pressure planet. Oh my god. No, dude. Not again. This is where the swords would have been good. Swords would have been fantastic, but no. No, I didn't do it. Wait, why are we getting Unicorn? Oh yeah, it just banishes a card face down in general. Fuck. Wowie zowie. Alright, well I need more Floodgates, please. Step 4? What the fuck? Well... Shit. Auto Prosby. Vanish six. Please don't have Ash Blossom. I beg you. Solemn Judgment. Alright. Okay, buddy. Uh... Please let me die. Like, that is an indication of me summoning this, that I just, I'm just dead. Dead on that thing? Listen, Cash is stinky? Dude, why? I know you need another card. Why are we getting Ogre? Is there nothing else for you to summon? There really is nothing else for you to summon. Ain't no fucking way. Okay. Why are we playing Solemn? That's a little weird. Can I... Can I, can I die, please? Burn up the souls! Metal Foes Fusion! Uh, that's unfortunate. Mm, I mean, I could go with more normal monsters. With Heart of the Underdog. But I don't know if that's worth it. Like, I feel like more Floodgates would be beneficial. But I don't know whether Floodgates are R. Floodgates players, people, Ash or Summon. Wow, cool. Summoned anyway. Exactly. It's like, are you, you... Can you guys read? 
you guys understand what's happening? I don't know if there's any other floodgates I can really play. Like, lose one turn is pretty good. But... I don't know if there's any other floodgates. Alright, Necro Valley's a one. I mean, yeah, Necro Valley's pretty good. Die is pretty good. Dalgwin. Rookos just a custom card. A lot of the um Altergeist cards are just like, oh, I guess I don't get to do anything then. Uh Secret of Spellcast is pretty good. But that'd be like what a Jalgwin? I'd have to normal summon Jalgwin, which I really don't want to have to do. Uh the rest of these are kind of okay. Like, Jalgwin's not bad. It was Faisal Dyna. Would it be Jalgwin? Like, I'd have to get rid of a bunch of stuff. It wouldn't be worth it. It better, it'd be better just to keep what I have right now. If anything, I probably just... the I keep hard drawing into double or nothing. And I haven't been able to go into the XC stuff, really. I think I just keep the XC stuff. Get rid of double or nothing. But then what do I put in? Like, Jalgwin? That's really it. The Jalgwin or anti spell fragrance that'd fuck me too. That's a problem. That would fuck me too. Summer World's not bad. Summer World's not bad. That is a good floodgate, but it's another field zone that I don't have. That I don't really want to get rid of. Uh, a boatload of normal monsters. What do I get rid of? I mean, yeah, I can go to another normal. Sure, I'll go, I'll go one more normal. Normal four. Give me, give me Darkfire Soldier one. The floodgates are necessary. Then the floodgates make this better. The swords, we have to keep the swords. If they I get rid of Dark World dealings. But then like, is that really worth it? Because then I'm going to be having, I'm going to be accidentally drawing a bunch of other cards. I'm going to keep it right here, right now, and try from that. And run reload to reshuffle hand. Oh shit, that's not bad. I'm I'll, I'm gonna do that next one. Next match, we'll do that. Yeah, reload would actually be really good. Only second with a floodgate deck, you just can't do anything though, which really blows. Like, I'm kind of just left here. We like, guess I die then. A lot of extra. I mean, I have metal foes, which could go Baguska. That's about it. Crash Tira Fenrir. Well, while he's going to play the game, I'm going to go pee. I need to grab well we, we automatically surrender if we lose wait you added rise heart why didn't we summon rise heart at this point okay let's summon so again if he banishes any of my exodia pieces we just surrender there's a reason to stay in the match if uh, we lose those Can I draw more? I, okay, Dark World Dealings, or we need an extra. Extra is better. Dark World Dealings draws one, gets rid of one. But hello, we're going to Shangri Era. Okay, and then we're gonna use Rise Heart. So again, Exodia pieces better not be hit. And the answer is none of them got hit. Okay. Bloodgates got hit though. Kinda sucks. Um I'm about to say if he lost on Pendulum Zone, it's gonna be so funny. 
can be fucked up, but... Alright, Ogre. Ogre has it activated. Ogre's going to grab preparations. Ooh, this preparations could fuck me, though. That could be really bad. Why aren't we going into Rise Heart? There we go. It's like, Rise Heart should be, like, the answer right now. Even though it would be really funny, too. Right, or uh, right leg, yay! Alright, so we have to go extra out here. Preparations. Oh, no, this is bad. Your opponent activates a trap card or effect. Oh, activates a trap card. Okay, well, we're good. I'm not activating trap cards right now. I go pot of extra towards revealing light and just pray, honestly. Extra banish six. Yay! I can't draw anymore either. This is so fucking fun. I attach one card as material. Yeah, because extra prevents me from drawing anymore. You get the power of Bean. God, don't you just love whenever you get out floodgated? It's just fantastic. Yep, that's fine. Kill me, please. Get right back. Did I lose my other Exodia piece? I didn't. That's fun. But I mean, I die here. Unless the dumbass just wants to, like, floodgate me. Like, honestly, just... I summoned Bean Soldier for a reason. I wanted to die. You're not letting me die, which is even more annoying. Another Rise Heart. Okay... Fucking cash wannabe player. Uh, yeah, we're gonna run reload. We're gonna get rid of the Dark World dealings. And just do that. Hey, okay, Kyung's Kashira. Guarantee he's gonna try to get rid of the cop three cards off of my deck. Oh, his deck. Why are we doing your deck? Okay, attach to the bean soldier. And I hate that it's this, this shit is once per chain. Like, that's so stupid. I feel like Rise Heart should be at one, like it is in TCG. Or is it banned in TCG? Correct if I'm wrong. I feel like it's banned in TCG, actually. This microcosmos doesn't do anything. Like anytime Shangri Ears effect activates too, I. Are you really gonna be a bitch? You're really going to be a bitch. You're allowing me to survive. That's fine. I'll go one day of peace on this next turn then. Just so that way I guarantee another turn. Now, granted, he locks up my back around fucked. Wait. Shit. 
Shit, that sucks. Uh, I'm screwed. I legit cannot do anything. My Shangri Ears effect's not gonna activate here. Crosby. Honestly, I'm gonna have to go Pot of Prosperity and beg that I get Fire Prison. If I get Fire Prison, I win. That's one Fire Prison. I have two more Fire Prisons left. Swords Revealing Light doesn't help me either. This is where the Floodgates just come in handy. I have to go Prosby and hope there's no Ash Blossom in hand. Please, no Ass Blossom. Dark World Dealings, Macrocosmos, Swords Revealing Light, Left Leg, Fire Prison. We did it! We got the card that we need! Give me that. Yeah, you can lock up my zones now. I don't care. Lock them up. Because his zones are also locked to where he cannot summon anything else. The Shangri Era's effect is not going to activate to stop the fire prison. Oh, wait. I forgot Rise Heart's effect. Well, you know what? I'm going to kill myself instead. I am not sitting through this shit. Are you going to let me sit through this? You're so fucking annoying. You're so fucking annoying. This is a once per turn effect. This is so annoying. I have to sit through this just because I need to fucking play 50 matches. In turn, buddy. Go, go crazy. I bet you're just gonna go in defense mode and just block every single zone first and then and then attack me and kill me. Thank you. You fucking bastard. Like, other than being an asshole, there's no reason to not attack me. Thank you. Again, this is where it sucks. If I go second, I and they set up a floodgate board, just like me, I can't do anything. How more matches do we have to play Exodia? I'm having more fun with Exodia than an actual, like, actually playing the event event. I gotta duel another 25 times. Fuck me. Oh my god. Dueling so many times, not fun. Do not recommend. I hate that mission every fucking time. Because it's always like a high amount. It's always 50. And like, I'm not playing this event 50 fucking times. But then I have to sit through it, which is even more annoying. So I literally just put it on and then just like turn my, uh, turn my brain off. Think about Diabolosis is banned. I know, it's so great. This is not good. I mean, I can... I could su normal summon Alligator Sword, Messenger of Peace, and be fine. That is my best option. Okay, Heart of the Underdog. And normal summon Alligator Sword. I mean, I could put it like a 2,000 defense one as well. That's about it. He's got... It's it's lab. This is lab. Because he's having a reaction. Since, uh... Since draw phase. Like, when you, when you can get Heart of the Underdog to activate and be fine, it's great. I love that shit. Otherwise, it's super, like, annoying. 
when I don't draw anything to do. Alright. We're going vanities. It's still the end phase, right? It's still the end phase. It's gonna be vanities, right? What's the plan here? Like, I assume this is vanities. Max C. And then slap me for 500. I mean, you can't XCs. You normal summon Max C. The Max C was his card. Okay, well, give me Alligator Sword, I guess. I mean, I have the beat down with be with Bean Soldier, which is funny. That's your piece again. Um, I hold on to it, sadly. Pay the pet, pay the fee. Just in your turn. There's nothing happened here, which really sucks. We'll keep Alligator Sword at maximum at at in attack mode because they have to hit me with a. They can't even hit me with a 15. Like it wouldn't it wouldn't allow them. Like, if anything, Moon Mirror Shield would make this 15, but then it couldn't attack. Or would it? It'd be 500, but then in damage calc, it would go above 1500. It'd be 1600. Would that work? I don't know if that's legal. I think it would automatically, like, end the battle phase. Because it'd be an illegal activation. The change of heart was very interesting. Ah, Millennium Revelation. It's fucking god cards. Okay. Add a monster reborn. See him activate monster reborn. Oh my god, we are doing it. You know this raw is not gonna be able to activate, right? Or it's not going to be able to, like, it's not going to be able to kill me. If I'm not mistaken, Guardian Slime? The Guardian Slime is at 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh... Okay. Monster Reborn. Target the Raw. And then, are we going to activate Wing Dragon Raw effect? To, like, try to OTK me? Is that the plan? Or am I mistaken here? Because as far as I know, there's no destruction effect on this. As far as I'm aware. They don't want to run the field to the graveyard. No. There's nothing here that I'm reading that's destruction effect. Okay. Immortal Phoenix. You get Big Bird here. What now? And wants to run in the field to the graveyard. Okay, that's fine. Battle phase. Damn. It only hit. Hello? Cards are unaffected by other card effects. Fun! Fuck. Really? Is this is a once where you can pay simple once in the field to the graveyard. Fuck me. Oh. Well, that's gone now. That's good for me. I now have 29 turns with 34 card deck, which is kind of a problem. Hey, Gozen's pretty good. Gozen's really helpful. Eight fee. Hey. This is where we go. Soldier in defense. Set the ghost in. The attribute is light. So it looks like this guy's just playing. Um. Yeah, this guy's just playing Wing Dragon Raw. So. I don't know if he can get Immortal Phoenix back out. I don't know how he can get this back out. 
Oh, he's gonna take damage. There we go, goes in match. You can only control Earth Monsters! Unless you got Solemn Judgment to back there. Let's go! Out Floodgated! You can't even summon the Guardian Slime, too. Uh, so we fucked up our Pendulum Scales, which is fine. Pendulum Scales are there strictly just because. Um, we don't have to have it. But it is good to summon a bunch of other things. He's going to try to go into Battle Phase, probably. It's slapped for a little bit. And then probably try to summon the Guardian Slime, and it's water. Bean Soldier! Can't imperm a normal monster. Why didn't my thing work? I don't know. Reading. Sorry, Henry. We're not letting you play the game. That's right leg. We get to draw one. Now you know what we're playing. Look at my Exodia pieces. Um, I don't know what the rest of the back row could be, honestly. That is the problem. I don't want to get rid of Max C. So we want to... That's why we put this in defense mode. So that way he cannot hit me with anything else. Towards Revealing Light. That is pretty good. Um, I could go Swords. Just so that way I can ensure... No, you know what? I think we're fine. Do not play Swords. Okay, I'm at 31. I have 27. If I draw, keep drawing normal monsters, we're good. Pot of extra or pot of prosperity would be good. We want to grab any Ecto pieces that we see off of them, too. I forget, did I take out Dark World Dealings out of this deck? I feel like I did. And if I didn't, I need to replace them because. Oh, that's right. We're going to replace them with Reload. That's right. Of the swords, fun. Uh, pay the fee. Yep. This goes and saves me, because he would just summon the raw, and then we've just been screwed. Like, there's no way he can get rid of the max C either, because he's. I don't know why you normal summon the max C. That part was weird. Like, I don't, I don't understand what the goal was there. Um, other than to fuck with me. And, like, slap me for 500. But I'm not moving this Bean Soldier. This Bean Soldier stays in defense mode. Another Swords. God damn, you know what? I'm gonna go Swords to get rid of whatever you have in that back row. Or get rid of whatever is in the front. What you got, Chief? Ah, Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. Okay, you would gain life points. Now we're just waiting. Macro Cosmos, uh, we're gonna save that for right now. Get the fee. And yeah, we're floodgating them, but like we don't wanna do do too much right now. We just chill. We just chill. What's funny is that we still have another hour of just floodgating people. Don't you love the era of floodgates?
Defense. That's fine. Like, I don't know why we summoned this uh, spooky dogwood. There was no reason to do that. We just held it. Uh-oh. Left arm. I get to draw. Fire prison. That's another floodgate. Uh, so we'll go ahead and... Actually, do not resolve this. Because, like, we're giving him the false impression that we're good. Now we go Messenger of Peace again. And we go Fire Prison to clear up our hand. Yeah, you can Solemn this. I don't care. Fire Prison's the better card. And, like, we're still floodgated because it goes in. That puts us at six cards again, so we're good to go. All right, two more pieces left, y'all. He's got something, and it's concerning me. I don't know what he could possibly have at this point. But it's going to be a very long match. That's where I need to... How many more normal monsters do we have? We have two more alligator swords, two more bean soldiers, uh, one more forbidden one, a six, and then one more, or and then the two pendulums. So that's eight. That's eight normal monsters we got left, and we all still have Hardy the Underdog to still draw. We need to keep one slot open, so that way if we draw any draw power cards, we need to keep that slot open to, uh, to play with it. What's happened is that this sword is going to go away, then we have to get the other swords, and then we go from there. Alright, solve. We always keep our hand low. Secret zone. That doesn't really help us right now. We have to resolve this. We need to be... Then we need to activate swords again. Flip all that shit back up. What you got, chief? Another spooky dogwood. I don't know why you have another spooky dogwood. That's weird. Where are we at? 25 cards, 23 life points. We need to start getting more of our draw power right now. And trap turbo. It's 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 supposed to be OTK Wing Dragon of Raw. Oh shit. We're fucked now. Uh oh. Um. Shit. This is a problem now. Now we're now we're now we have potential of dying. In phase. You hard you into the harpies. Another messenger piece. That's so funny. I would pay the fee. Isn't that great? Um, anyway, Swords Revealing Light. And, uh, you know what would be even better? Another Messenger of Peace. And we're gonna set two more cards for our back row. Thank you for clearing up our zones. Now, granted, we don't have Heart of the Underdog anymore, so we're not drawing anymore, which really sucks. But we're gonna be we're gonna be 100 life points short of every turn, so he can't go. I mean, Cosmic Cyclone's a thing. That's about it. Like he's not flooded anymore, which is the main thing. If I turn this on, we're in the main phase. Okay, so he's not attacking. I go Macrocosmos whenever he has to discard. Our dinner dog, let's go. I think our board back up. Pay the fee. Yep. Our dinner dog. Now Gozen was keeping us alive, which is the problem. But as Wait, no, this Maxi can attack. Why are you not at- Oh, because of swords. I'm stupid. 
was like, why isn't this Maxi attacking? Or trying to do something. But the Synchro Zone will help me as well. Um, but I mean, if he can get the Wing Dragon Raw out again, we're kind of boned. Stand by. Chosen is at one, right? Chosen is at one. Okay. We're getting the main phase. That's main phase two on swords. Rivalry. That's good. That is really good, actually. Pay the fee. Yep. Uh, we just end our turn here. Okay, it's so the third phase now. Uh, we go Macrocosmos at the end of the turn. So that way, whatever he draws has to be um, thrown away. Damn. Uh, Yeah, that's fine. Kind of sucks. The sword should be going away now. Ah! Macro then. Using my own shit against me, I see. Is this from field? Is this from graveyard? Uh, no, it just says tribute any. What did you get rid of? God, reactor slime. Okay, soul crossing. For sphere mode, let's go. Fearmo going to attack me? Oh wait, you can't because of swords. Oh, we just don't summon any monsters now. Special summon. Ignoring everything. I'm gonna go Synchro Zone. Can he go Immortal Phoenix here again? I don't know if he can. If he does, I'm just I'm just boned. That one of harpies. Again, that is the one thing that like scares me. Getting that one of harpies by the duster. Wing Dragon Raw with 4k. Can we go with Mortal Phoenix? I feel like we can. Yeah, I feel like they can. Being unaffected by other card effects kind of sucks. I wonder if swords would be like an underlying thing. Okay, I really need that normal monster now. Fire Prison. That doesn't really help either, but it's still good. Now we're going to pay the fee. We're going to go Fire Prison. Set Rivalry and Beg. Only one Can only control one type of monster. Divine Beast. So I need him to like summon... Something else, like a maxi or something silly. Yay! You read the other floodgate. What's in my Exodia deck? Oh no. Alright, give me a second, Rin. I gotta pull that up real fast. I gotta pull up Discord. I do need to put in the reload. Turn the menu. Pull up Discord. How close are we? Like, we're at 30 duels now, I think. Uh, 25 out of 50. And st we still got a normal summon or special summon another 130 monsters. 130 times. God damn it. That's so much. Alright, uh, let's see. Yu-Gi-Oh! Wow. That... It's not Floodgate. So, like, what do you do... You know what? I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. Fuck it. I'll make both decks. First of all, deck, I have enough deck space, right? Yes, I do. Copy this. It's going to be my Floodgate deck. So, edit. It's going to be Floodgate Exodia. Now, let's make yours. So, does it really matter what monsters that we have? I feel like we do.
You have to like explain, or you got to tell me like what some of these are. Because I don't know what half of these uh, normal monsters are. All right, so we need reload. Three of those. Uh, hand of destruction. Oh my god. Hand of destruction. Hand of destruction. Is it not called hand of destruction? What's it called? Uh, word. Okay, well, I know most of these are ignites. Is, it, is that how you spell it? Yes. Alright, so we have none of these. Wait. I don't know any of these. Okay, three of these. And then... I'm trying to figure out what you're playing. The screenshot is not helpful. Is it card destruction? I know we're playing double or nothing. I know that for sure. All right, where, where? Oh, we can't use the link monsters. Um, it's still an XC's event, so like I could put Utopia at least. Like, I know I have the regular Utopia. I know I have the regular ass Utopia. I don't have the regular ass Utopia. Wow. Uh, Feral Imp. No, not feral lamps. Yeah, buddy, you're gonna have to like write down the cards for me. And destruction, no OG. Oh, this one. Yeah, because it's hard to see what these cards are, and I don't know them off the top of my head. Um, I know that's a footballer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I mean, I can try, um, we already did the Ignite Metal Foes. We have three of these. Yeah, I don't know what the rest of these are, and I can't zoom in exactly. I mean, I could save the image and then go to paint or yeah, and then open it up. Like, that's my only option. Which isn't the best. Okay, it's still an Ignite. I see. I mean, they're all normals, which would make my life a little bit easier. So it's a normal monster, pendulum, normal, so it's four, normal rarity. So this kind of helps. Uh, you have an SR in there, and I really want to play the SR. Okay, so I see this one. Three of these. Give me a second while we try to compile this deck together. That Dino Miss is normals. Real damn shame, too. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, Ignite Paladin? Yeah. Three Paladins. Mm. Just a heads up, if there's anything being said in chat, I don't have my chat pulled up. So I can't really read what's going on. We're playing this one. Three of this. We're not playing the Camel, are we? No, we're playing like the Mad Turkey. We are playing this Flash Knight. Three of these. Alright, is Matt Turkey the last one? 
Mad Turkey is the last one. Mad Turkey and the SR. Bro. Okay, Mad? Oh my god. Alright, well, back down the list. It's something turkey. Is it turkey? Yes, it is turkey. Mild turkey. Alright, three mild turkeys. And a pendulum. Gross. It's gonna be pendulum. SR. It's probably like a Draco Knight, if I had to guess. It's not a Draco Knight? Draco. It is. Master Pendulum the Draco Slayer. I'll make one of these just for this fucking event. Alright, so now I don't know. I know that's Crazy Box. And that's Gaga Go, isn't it? Do I need XCs? I need level 4 stacks. We'll close this out. Now we got Crazy Box. So two Crazy Boxes. Uh, Gaga. Oh god, Elder Entity. Elder? Entity? Oh, I just need to play one of these. Uh, then we play Crooked Cook. Oh, we have so many Crooked Cooks. Um, I don't know what that is. So first of all, let's get rid of some cards. More the rare, give me that rare. If anything, I probably have it. Am I just dumb? It's it's the one with light wings. That one. Okay. And the rest of it I don't have, so we're just gonna avoid it. Ignite Templar, Paladin, Dragon Pulse, Magician, Magic Calabra, Matt Flash Knight, Rain Gate, Mild Turkey, Metal Post, Gold Driver, XCs are Generic 4s, Firewall, Exceed. Well, we're not, we're doing this in the event, so we can't have XCs cards. That's the one downside. So, uh, draw, that's generic cards not owned. We got a glossy finish of that. Alright, so let's try your deck, Rin. We're only doing it in the event. We're not doing this for real. God, no. If this is for real, I'd be 100% screwed playing in meta. If you play this in ranked, power to you, Chief. Alright, going first. Oh, I just not realized. If you have Heart of the Underdog, go reload. Then you, drew, Since you technically drew those cards, you get more shit. That's insane. Wait a minute. Wait, that's kind of nutty. I really did draw hard drawn to double or nothing. I'm gonna have to go hand destruction. It's just for dumb events. That's funny. And this. I think I need to keep the master pendulum, don't I? Once this card pendulum turn one card pendulum zone to destroy it. So it's just a it's just a zone resetter. So let's get rid of Flash Knight. Tier Kashira. Uh oh. Uh oh, we're playing against Tier Limits? Bro, I didn't get anything. A 1 and a 7. That's all we got. I drew into everything. Like, I needed Heart of the Underdog. That's what I need. And also, Hard Drawing into, again, Double or Nothing. So fun. Also, drawing into an Exodia piece, which isn't bad. Drawing into an Exodia piece isn't a bad thing. It helps. But at the same time, it kind of just screws me if I don't have anything. Going second. If they were going to be... They were going to make a tier board, and I'm not about to deal with a tier board. Or a cashier board. And it's just going to be a lot of saying no to the events. And strength doesn't help me either, dude. It's just cash again. Well, 
Well, I can't do anything, so I'm gonna go get some water. Uh, sure. I got that, sorry. Don't need this. Don't need this. Brandon, I'm gonna be real with you. Not seeing the benefit. Like, I have to have Hardy Underdog first. I either have to go first and pray. It doesn't help me. Oh, we're getting a lot rid of a lot of cards, which is good. And he got rid of my reload. First prey. I mean, I, I I do appreciate that. Like he's getting rid of a lot of cards too. That's it. Yeah, I get that, but I do like the floodgate variant a little bit more. Bloody variant with which had hard under the dog, it just wasn't as consistent with using. It gives us more draw power. I might do I might go back to that, quite honestly. Like I understand the appeal of this deck, but I would have to have because I don't want to put hard under dog on the field just because of um the uh pressure planet. It would have gotten rid of my shit. But hopefully he just kills me here. He's not an asshole about it. He's not an asshole about it. He's just gonna kill me. Thank God. I like that other, like, cashier player. Tell you what, Ren. We'll keep playing this deck until we get a, at least a win. Once we get a win, and it has to be an actual win. It can't be, um, it can't be a, they immediately surrender. Like, they didn't draw a good hand, they just immediately surrender. Cannot be that. It has to be an actual win. You know, it would help if I go first, too. Because what I need is Harder Underdog. 
And then, um, hand destruction. Or card destruction. Reload's not bad. Reload saves this. Okay, discard one level A, draw two. It's eight axes! Yay! Let's go! I'm about to be fucking screwed over by chorus cards again. I have to really pray that one, I do not get Ash Blossoms. And two, um, that I draw hard again or dog. That's the only way we win this. Because with each normal monster that we draw, correct? Each normal monster that we draw, we, we draw one card. So if I reload, that puts me at four cards. Hardy underdog. But then I'm like kind of stuck there. I can't do anything else unless I have another reload. Which then I would draw two. And then hopefully go from there. Hand Destruction is not bad. It doesn't really help me either. But this is going to go into um, Photon Lord probably, I the guess. The answer is... Zombie Vampire can really, really fuck me. Um, It can be really bad here. If I lose an Exodia piece, I'm screwed. I'm dead. We lose that Exodia piece, we can't get it back out. Um, Because we're not playing the... Uh, there's a card... I forgot. It's a spell card that like gets you cards back, normal monsters back from the graveyard, back to your hand. It's used for like a bunch of hand looping with like Panda and such. But I'm not playing the hand loop version with Panda because the hand loop with Panda takes so fucking long to do. I'm not bothering with it. All right, here we go. We're going first finally. Can we get it? Can we get start? This isn't bad. This is actually really good. Because we go harder than underdog. And if this gets ashed, we're fucked. That's the only way we lose if we get ashed. We get rid of the... I really want to get rid of the 7. I get rid of the 3. And the 7. Dude! Okay, this doesn't count, Rin. Man, that sucks. That really sucks. Because I, I want to see it actually play out. That's my thing. Like, if... He saw the play, he saw, he saw the line. He was like, shit, because I would draw... Even if I draw one monster... I mean, that's the thing. If I draw one, and then hand destruction, another two, draw again, and just hope that I, like, constantly loop over and over. Two pieces already, and I drew double or nothing. This is... This is so bad. Like, the other three could have been something else entirely. Card drawing the double or nothing, as fucking always. I've been hard drawing this card. Which is super annoying to hard draw this card. Oh. Shit. Another player can set nor activate spell cards that are set. Well, it's even worse. These are all... Oh my god. These are so bad pendulum scales. I can set this as a defensive wall. That's literally it. Uh, well... The thing is, though, is that he's playing Floodgate 2, which means this is 8 axis. Guaranteed this is 8 axis. Like, he's gonna pop out with a Gizmek, and I'm gonna be fucked. But why? Oh, wait. I, he went first. Why would you go blind, second, 8 axis, and choose to go first? That's so weird. You had other options here.
Destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Yay! Raigeki! So fun! Why are you, like, pausing? That's what I'm confused about. I mean, the play would have been... I could even go Metal Host Stealing. He's on the moon? Yeah, I can't do anything about this. He's got something. I'm pretty sure it's Gizmek in hand. Ignite Templar again. These are both Pigeon Scale 7s, which is super annoying. I could summon this and actually beat over him. That's so funny. That is my only play. It's to beat over him. It's not Gizmek, and it's not Fairy Tail Snow. Uh, no, it has to be Gizmek. Gizmek's a quick effect, right? If I'm not mistaken. It's 2250. 2850 or 2250. It's it's a weird it's a weird number. I know that much. All right, go ahead and get rid of this shit. Just that way, I don't gotta deal with it no more. Yay! Main two. I want to set this double or nothing just just to fuck with him. I'm not doing anything with this double or nothing. Uh, it's not an imperm. Uh, it's activated. Okay, let me check Gizmek's ability. I'm pretty sure this is Gizmek. Uh, this card is in your hand or graveyard. You can banish eight cards from the top of your deck face down. Special summon this card. You can banish three cards from your deck face down. Turn one place a monster in the field. Destroy it. It's a gets mech in hand. Just hard draw another Raigeki. Why don't we? The two of Raigeki, you just hard drew it. Like, okay. Buddy, like, what the fuck? Uh. I don't know what, why he's pausing. That's the other part that's annoying me. But I need a 7. Or I need, I need a 1. So I can go 1, 7, pull out the other 2, go into... Can I go Crooked Cook and be fine? Well, actually, I can even go Crooked Cook. I can show no other cards in the field. This card has to go by the card's effects. I mean, I know you go Sharks with Crooked Cook. So that way it can't be destroyed. It's just more annoying that this guy is taking his sweet time with activations. Oh, we have Fenrir. Well, fuck you too, I guess. I'm not going to sit through this. This guy is like playing very slow and it's super annoying. Oh, then it's just cash. We had the stack of cards and then cash. Why did we ride Geki? This guy was playing so slow. So it's like getting really, really annoying. Ren, I'm going to give this deck one more try. But, like, I'm not getting anything out of this. Like, if, if anything, I'm like, I keep bricking. I get it. It's supposed to be luck. And pray. But at the same time, yes, when it goes off, it's great. But I'd rather play the Floodgate version to where, like, if I get the Floodgates, I'm good. If I don't get the Floodgates, I'm, I'm screwed. Like, this is, again, I, I'm just immediately dead. We're going to keep going until I get to go first and get, like, a combo started. Because, like, we're not having to worry about anything. Like, we're, we're, we're stuck at level 15. It's fine. Well, one second again? Shit. I love this game. I need Heart of the Underdog, Reload, or, um, Hand Destruction. I need those three cards. If I don't get those three, then we just, we just give up. Hand Destruction's not bad. It depends on how bad they fuck me, though. It's cash here again. God fucking damn it, y'all. It's all ca Everyone's learning that they just play cash in this event. No one's playing cash in the early, early parts of the event, and now they are, and it's getting super annoying, and I can't do anything about it. 
has to go first and be perfect KO with no interruptions. That's the problem. It's like, I get it. It's great. When it when it goes off perfectly, it goes off perfectly. I'd rather play the floodgates and just wait it out than have it be perfect. Because one Ash Blossom ruins this whole thing. Which I haven't seen a lot of people play Ash Blossom. I did it again. I did this shit again. A two, a five. And I can do this. There's a two. There's a five. Pendulum summon. Wait, what's the effect here? Uh, reduce the level of unspawns by the declared mount. Okay, we don't want to do that. I mean, Baguska Pass is not a bad thing to do. It gives us two turns to play with. Stand by main phase. Step one, pass. Nice. Well, Master Pendulum's not bad. What's this do when it's in the Pendulum Zone? Which doesn't do anything if it's not in the Pendulum Zone. Because I have to wait again until I have another level 4. That way I can go into another rank 4 XCs. But Crazy Box isn't bad. I don't even know if I go into Crazy Box. But I mean, they're all generics. I mean, I could go into Utopia Double. And then go into Kaiser, which would be a Floodgate. That might be the play. Okay, we end our turn again. Uh... I'm not drawing into any of the spells that I need. I don't know what he's playing either, which is kind of concerning. A lot of extravagance. Vanish six, draw two. That one pass. I really just need one XCs. I, I mean, I need, I need Kaiju. Hello? This didn't do anything. I might kill itself. Already the underdog. I just end my turn. I don't I don't like Makonko? All I can think of is Makonko. So if I don't have anything else in my if I, if I don't summon anything, I'm good. So what's funny is that if he goes uh, any Makonko card, he can't attack, which is so funny. Oh. Okay. So we're both... We both have timers. I have 20 turns. I have 33 cards left. And hey, we got right leg. Heart activates. Draw one. Heart of the dog activates again. Go metal plus go driver. Draw one. Heart of the dog activates. Draw one. Metal plus silvered. Draw one. There's hard of the dog again. Alright, so we go Hard Gunner Dog again. Then we Pendulum Summon here. Uh, summon all four of these. Two, three, and four. Uh, can I change the level? At the end of this turn, reduce the level one to sponsor by the declared amount. If you do, increase the level of the other by the same amount. I don't want to do that then. Uh, is there any draws that we can get? Utopia double. Hey, 
Okay. Echo Utopia double. Catch this. Double or nothing. Go into Kaiser. Now our Floodgate. Put someone one rank down or lower number monster with two dots and both attack that ranks with each other from the premier stick up to the different materials, but different negated and catch something with this card. Or this turn unless the effect was negated, you cannot go summon any other your battle team. Okay, that's fine. Now we special summon from the deck. Uh Die Pegasus and Shunya. Detach this. Declare a level from 1 to 6 in the target. Two phase of monster controls. And then this turn, reduce the level 1 that's lost by the declared amount. If you do, increase the other one. I mean, we're just good here. I have a Towers. He has a Kaiju. Like, he's playing Kaijus. Like, he can clear my board really easily if he wants to. We're not going to attack. Ash Blossom. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I know what's about to happen here. He's about to attack. Oh no. He's going to attack and then banish my whole deck. Oh no. Oh, okay. Gamma Seal? Hey, okay, well, there goes. Oh my god. Why are we getting rid of Ash? Wait, how much defense did that have? Oh, only a thousand? I thought I had more. There it is. There's Crook and Cook combo. Alright, three turns. Oh, do I reload? I do reload here. I reload, put all this back, and draw normal monsters. Let's fucking go. We're gonna show this. We're gonna show this. This helps so much. Holy shit. Draw one. Draws good, you win this time? True. Wait, I drew. Am I? Wait, I. I draw. I drew a normal monster. Why did it not activate? Get rid of Mild Turkey. Get rid of Ignite Templar. Alright, hopefully this is enough. Oh, we're playing Exodia 2! Let's Why is it not working? What is happening? Am I stupid? Like why why is Party Your Dog not activating? During your draw phase. That's why. Drew effect lasso kills chain? Oh, well. Fuck a duck, I guess. Uh, crazy box. We're gonna go crazy. We're gonna draw. Activate detach. Five? Cool. Uh, destroy... Gamma Seal. What would I be able to Pendulum Summon? Just this? Doesn't do anything. Drew Effect last, so it kills Chain. So, how, how would I make it work? Well, like, he's playing Exodia too. Did he not get rid of Ex Wait, he got rid of an Exodia piece. Wait. Why did you get rid of the Exodia piece? Hello?
Okay, Ignite Templar. Reload our hand destruction saves us. True. Alright, activate both of these. Hand destruction. Okay. So now we get to do it again because I did not chain. Do not chain. It will kill it. Double or nothing does nothing. Dragon Pulse. Alright, we should win here. We should totally win here. I have hand destruction to get rid of shit if need be. Burn and song, because it has to be during the draw phase. That's so funny. We're actually going to win here because of this. Metal foes. Alright, it's activate again. Another two cards. Look at me. Better than your crooked cook bullshit. The crooked cook. Crooked Cook with Sharks, great, don't get me wrong, but like, this is so much better. Dragon Pult, Flash Knight. This is so silly. Reload, Heart of the Underdog. Now we got, we got Heart of the Underdog again because we got Dragon Pult. Dragon Pult is better. We're just going to draw a whole deck at this point. If push comes to shove, we can go reload. Wild Turkey, let's just draw another two. Nope, that's the last piece right there. We did it! Ignodia! <laughs> this is so stupid. This is really fucking stupid, but I love it. When you get this to work, it's fun. When you get it to work, it's the problem. Uh, well, in the meantime, we are going to raid. Go ahead and pull that up. We guys have a lovely rest of your day. Move on over. It's stupid when it works. When it works, it's so stupid. But, uh, hi, say hi to Nifroth for me. They're playing Master Duel as well. We guys have a lovely time with them. I'll be back later today at 1 p.m. CST. We'll be playing Civ 6 with the game. We'll be playing uh, Russia. We're playing as Russia today. We're playing as our designated countries or designated continent. So we cannot leave the continent as far as I'm aware. So that's how the rules are going to be. Okay, so we'll see you today. Until next time, y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.